to learn about the present perfect progressive tense and how to use it in sentences and questions. You'll learn how it is different from the present perfect. And again, you will have many opportunities to do exercises to help you. Remember to have fun. Stated verbs, also known as non-action verbs. Part 1. I am enjoying a beautiful day at the park. I see people everywhere. I hear children laughing and people talking. This man prefers the shade. This woman likes the sun. Everyone is relaxing. Do you know what kind of verbs these are? These are stated verbs, also called non-action verbs. They do not express an action. They express a state. We use them to talk about thoughts, emotions, senses, and states of being. We do not use them to talk about actions. Let's look at some examples. Mary believes that the sun can make her happy. Believe is related to thoughts. Other examples are agree, remember, understand, prefer, and know. John hates the sun, so he is sitting in the shade. Hate is related to emotions. Other examples of stated verbs that are related to emotions are love, like, and dislike. I bet this dog is thinking, mmm, this grass tastes good. The verb taste is related to the senses. Other examples of stated verbs that are related to the senses are hear, smell, sound, see, feel, and look. Here in the park, almost everyone has a hat. The verb have is expressing a state of being. Other examples are be, appear, need, and want. Careful! Do not use verbs that express states with ing. Here are some examples of how you can use stated verbs correctly. The music sounds beautiful. Who wants something to drink? You are so handsome. Do you hear that? Do you know where mom went? We must not use ing with stated verbs. Notice none of those examples had ing. We cannot say sounding, wanting, being, hearing, or knowing. It's incorrect. Because we can't use ing with stated verbs, that means we can't use stated verbs in any progressive tenses. However, we can use action verbs with ing. But you already knew that. For example, we can say, they are listening to music. They are eating food. A man is singing. The children are playing with each other.
Watch part two of stative verbs to learn about some important exceptions. Thank you and goodbye. Stative verbs, part two. Okay, there are some exceptions you should know about. Some verbs can express both states and actions, depending on the context. Take the verb think, for example. We can use think as an action verb or a verb of state. Let's take a look at how think can be used as an action verb. We can say, he is thinking about lunch. He is not thinking about class. In this case, we can use think with ing because it's expressing an action. However, if I say she thinks the teacher is boring, now I'm using think as a verb of state. Here, think means believe, so we cannot use it with ing. B is another example. It can be used as an action verb and a verb of state. Bob is usually a good student, but today he is being disrespectful. Here, we can use be with ing to express that something is different than it normally is. Alex is the youngest in the class. Here, it's a verb of state. so we can't use ing. Have can also be an action verb and a verb of state. Maria is having a hard time understanding. The teacher has some important information. Here are some more examples of verbs that can express both states and actions. Can you decide which group of examples shows states and which shows actions? At the cafe. Some people are tasting the coffee to make sure it's not too hot. A man is smelling his food before he takes a bite. A woman is looking at a menu. The man and woman may fall in love, but right now they are just seeing each other. If the food tastes delicious, most of these customers will return. It smells wonderful at this cafe. These people look relaxed and happy. Do you see the man in the orange shirt? Okay, do you know which sentences have action verbs? Yep, you're right, these ones do. 
We're talking about right now, describing a scene at a cafe. We can use the present progressive with these verbs because they're actions. What about the other sentences and the other verbs? You know it. These ones are stated verbs. That's why, even though we're talking about right now, we are not using the present progressive tense. Okay, here are a few more examples of stated verbs used correctly. Think about how you would answer these questions. Imagine you're here. You are enjoying a beautiful night at the pier. What do you see? What do you smell? What do you hear? Do you prefer to relax on the beach? Or do you want to go on the Ferris wheel? Use stated verbs and action verbs to describe the pier at night. Now you know about stated verbs. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.